One of the things that you may want to do is keep track of your credit cards, the business cards that, that different employees have or the owners have, so that you have a more up-to-date P&L uh, at all times instead of having to wait till the end of the month to enter in a bunch of receipts. Um, what we're going to do in this video is actually show you how to create those types of bank accounts and then how to, to work with them in the, in the system. So the first thing that we have to do is the same thing we did in an earlier video when we created bank accounts. We need to first create a chart of account so, or a, an account to put it in. So we're going to go to accounting, chart of accounts, view accounts. And what we're going to do is first look to see if we already have a 2300 account. We're going to create a 2300 account to be, or 230 account to be our uh, credit card liability account. We're going to create this as, an, uh, as a credit card or other liability uh, type account. So to do this, what we're going to do is first, if we already have a 23 or a 230, which we do, I'm just going to create one for 231 so you can kind of see how to do this because this wasn't created correctly. Um, so what we're going to do first is we want to create an account that has no master account that is going to be the summary account for all of our credit cards. So, and, and again, this is in the liability section, not in the asset section like we did the bank accounts because credit cards you owe money to, not, uh, they're, they're not an asset. So the first thing we want to do here is we're going to come in and we're going to create a, a type of account for our other uh, expenses. Um, so you can, uh, the best thing to do here is just come down to other current liabilities. Um, so we're just going to select a, an, an account here of other liabilities. We're going to put in a number, and I'm going to make it 231 just since someone has already used the other one. And we'll say account name. We're going to say credit card summary. And then we, we won't worry about any of this other stuff, but we do want to tell it that this is going to be a master account. We want this to be something that we can put other accounts inside of. So we're just going to go ahead and save it. And so now you can see down here that we have our 231 account. And so now what we want to do is actually create our account numbers that we're going to have represent the different credit cards. And for this, we're going to do the same similar thing we did with our bank accounts. So we're going to come down first and select our summary account is going to be that uh, 231 account. We're going to pick the account, the account type is going to be credit card. We're going to put in a credit card number, I mean an account number, and what we'll do is we'll use a 231.00.100, and we'll tell it this is for our MasterCard, and we're just going to tell it to save. Okay, And you can do that for each individual account or each individual credit card you have so that you have different balances on your P&L and your balance sheet for those uh, accounts. So now that we've done that, we're going to do like we did earlier. We're going to come over to settings. We're going to go to accounting, bank accounts. And now we're going to create a new account. So we're going to say this is our MasterCard. And what I normally do is I put the name of the company. So let's say that it's Citibank. Um, so we'll put in Citibank and then I put in the last four digits of the credit card number so that when I'm looking at my checking account statement, I can just look at the receipt, look at the last four on the receipt, last four on the bank account and easily know where everything's supposed to go. Um, you can do it any way you want, but that's just the way that, that we do it here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select the account and you'll see down here that we've got our 231 100 MasterCard. So we're going to select that. Um, you can also create a separate account for your credit card fees if you want to do that. Um, that's totally up to you. Um, so at this point, I'm just going to tell it bank fees, but you can, again, create new accounts if you want. Um, so we're going to put in Citibank and then the account number, which would be the credit card number. So just make up whatever you want to there. And then you're not going to be doing ACHs or anything with them that you really care about. So we won't have to worry about that stuff. And then we'll just save it. So in, a, in a, another video, I'm going to show you how to actually log these, these things, how to write the checks and the debits and that kind of stuff. But that's really all there is to actually creating a credit card account so that you can start tracking your, your credit card payments and credit card uh, expenditures.